It's your fucking update. I mean, you went hard last week on the your new political standings. What yeah. have you found out this this week, dude? Dude, this week does. Well, I learned that tom- tomorrow is Super Tuesday from you. Yeah. Yep. And so that means like the people who are gonna go against Trump vote three fourths of it or whatever thirty two percent. Yep. About one third. One third, excuse me. One third of the state's primaries are tomorrow. Yep. So that's that's a good indication of where people are directing, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and and the top two is Biden and and um, Bernie, right? Mm-hmm. So, dude, saw saw a clip of Biden. I didn't see the whole speech or whatever he was saying, but I saw a clip of Biden looking. It might have been the intro of his speech or something, but it sounded like it. He was like, "Hey, I'm Joe Biden. I'm Democrat, uh, Democrat running for Senate, and I'm just saying, give me a look. If you don't like the other guy, vote for me." <laughs> 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 so along those lines, it was so fucking funny, and I was like, "What? He's running for president? Yeah. First of all, and is it, it was just weird." And then I saw another clip where this guy, um, a news guy, asked asked him about it. They played the clip, and Joe Biden goes, "You know, the context was well when I was, you know, running for Senate, I'll go door to door and say that as my intro, and that's how it got me in the Senate. So I just said it like that, you know." Just came off like that. Yeah, he's a little fucking kooky. A little kooky. I think he's all lost his mind. He doesn't know what the fuck he's saying up there most of the time. Yeah, that's good. You listen to him in context in the debates and shit, you like cannot finish a fucking sentence. <laughs> he it's, can't? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Damn. And like he's, people have to know. I mean, you can just listen to it and know. Like, yeah. oh, this dude has fucking dementia or something. <laughs> like something ain't he's, right here. How old is he? I don't know. I think he's in his upper 70s. No way. Yeah. Dude, he's Trump's not come. young either. He's fucking like 74 or some shit. No way. Yeah. But Bernie's in the upper 70s. Biden's in the upper 70s. 74? Dude, they, these guys should have been fucking retired 12 years ago, and they're running. And they're now running for president. 74? What's yeah, the youngest you can be? 35. Jeez, dude. They're fucking double that. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Why? What do you mean, why? Like... Why aren't 50-year-olds running? Well, they do, some of them. I mean, like, Obama was like 40-something when he got elected. Um, Pete, Mayor Pete that just dropped out, he was like in his 30s still, 39, I, didn't I think. Know, I didn't know that motherfucker was gay till today, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. First gay guy I've ever seen without a fucking wannabe girl voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where <laughs> yeah, they fucking yeah, yeah. say their asses like this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wonder if he would have made it less far or farther if his voice was like that. Less far. I think? I don't know. Dude, some people can't. Some people like my dad would fucking can stand that. Dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but fucking Biden's losing his mind, I think. And I think Bernie's all there upstairs, but he might lose his fucking body soon. Yeah. He don't look good, dude. His fucking head is coming out of the middle. His head is fucking coming out of between his tits soon he's gonna be holding it in his hand with a pumpkin head <laughs> <laughs> he needs some support already dude. yeah really you guys watch him in the debates dude his head is so fucking far down there he's always looking out of the top of his eyes and he's raising his hand and shit trying to talk and that's it's, true it's like dude this looks like a fucking old person's home up here and you told me he had a heart attack last year not yeah yeah in 2019 that's he had a heart attack that's yeah, not not looking good. That's crazy. Is it? How does Trump look younger than he is? I don't know. Probably fucking money. Yeah, like surgery and shit, or who knows what what Damn. he's had done. But probably something like that. I would I would assume if you were a billionaire, why wouldn't you? You wouldn't be like, oh, I look old. Oh well. You'd be like, fucking fix me up with whatever. Yeah, fucking pump me up with that fucking injection stuff. Yeah, but. But I was thinking, what was I just thinking? I couldn't fucking, can't remember right this second, but I forgot what I was fucking, that sucks, dude. I, when I, had it. I just had it, and then I had to wait because we were still talking about something else. Something about politics? Yeah. It was something about, it was something about, um, oh, oh, like 
Joe Biden also said that he hasn't seen one thing. He's like, in my mind, I haven't seen one thing Trump's done right. Oh, yeah. And and just crazy because I don't know politics, but you could tell he's not doing bad because of the economy, right? Yeah. Is that It's so crazy how I, I don't get how the president can control the economy if they do things right or wrong. A lot of it is based off of just a general feel of the how the country's doing. And also <clears throat> what might happen depending on who's in office. Like people, I guess like Bernie, that is it's common knowledge that it's going to be bad for business if he gets elected. If he got elected, the market would tank the next day because people are like uneasy and don't really know what's going to happen. They're like, shit, this guy might fuck everything up. So people pull their money out. Mm. So that's like one way. Like they don't directly control it, but a lot of it's just like a based on like a feeling of what how the country is doing as a whole. Mm. So, so when but the, I mean, it's yeah, they have to say that basically. Like if you're a Democrat, or I mean, it happens on both sides where Joe Biden, all of those people are smart as fuck up there. None of them are idiots. Like you wouldn't be able to be an idiot and make it to be nominated for president. You're right. smart in. You know, maybe you disagree with them, but they're all fucking smart. But they have to say shit like that. They obviously know that that's not true, that he's never done anything that's right. right. You know, the, but they have to say that because if he came out now and said, oh, yeah, well, if Trump actually did this that was right. The hardcore base that they're trying to pander to right now to get the nomination would be like, fuck him. He's a Trump supporter. Um, you know, even though it's total bullshit. Anyone with half a fucking brain that looks at shit even halfway objectively and not off just based on their feelings can see, okay, fucking Obama did this shit. That was pretty good. Even if you don't agree with him, yeah, you know, okay, this was one thing that he did good. Now on the flip side, you could look at Trump and say, okay, this is one thing that he did good in my opinion, yeah. you know? So it's just bullshit pandering. They're all fucking liars. That's crazy, dude. You got to lie and, and not stop talking. <laughs> that was, <laughs> give him a look. Uh, oh, yeah. He said, give me a look. Did give I me say a look. that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was my favorite part. <laughs> give me a look. If you don't like me, vote for the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you don't like the other guy, vote for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's um, like, uh, no shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> well, I don't like the other guy, so I just won't vote for either. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that worked 10 years ago when he was... In voting, going to Senate whenever he got. Okay, I don't know. It's so much different now. That's why I was just thinking like the age age to be president is fucking 35, but they made that law. I don't know when that became a thing, if it was right at the beginning or if it was a little bit later, but the life expense, expectancy is so much more now. If they adjusted that, it would probably be like 50. Damn. A 35-year-old back in the day is equivalent to like a 50-year-old now because people were dying at 50, 60. Now we live to... At least 70, 80, 90, 100, you know. Damn. So a lot of it could be changed, but yeah, it probably won't be. I don't see the need to. A 50-year-old or a 40-year-old yeah. that does things right can, you know, still do things right yeah. for the whole country. Yeah, I don't think that one's that big of a deal. That is crazy, dude. Politics are crazy. But it's interesting once you know. I don't know anything, but I'm paying more attention. Mm -hmm. I still don't. Like, I wish I knew facts like some people like yeah it's so hard to fucking know everything you like know what I mean, they voted for two years ago or yeah. what they said yeah i don't know how some of those people i watch you just YouTube. have to be obsessed with it i think and that's like your whole life is just knowing exactly what your position is on everything and why most people know or think they know like this is my position on whatever mm -hmm. but I, they probably can't tell you like why like a real good reason why mm -hmm. and the people that are good they know everything like why it is and then they have like the actual data and facts to back up why their position is that way that's what so crazy. much energy yeah. and time dude i'd rather just be like because i think that way <laughs> you know because i said so yeah exactly yeah but you know not all the time that my opinion would be right though you know sometimes other people are like i I, and I disagree, but it actually is right, you know? Right. Well, and that's the thing. Like, most of the issues are so fucking nuanced that it it can't be explained in a debate format. 
anyway. And even in long form, like when you see some of the politicians like Bernie went on Joe Rogan mm. and like, at least he can articulate his ideas on right. there more than 60 seconds at a time. I still don't agree with them. And the math still doesn't work on them no matter mm-hmm. how long he explains it. But you know, it's uh, <clears throat> when they're just trying to like get out their sound bites and like try to slam each other and shit. Like the, the ideas can't be explained like that. Right. And even no matter which side you're on, there's like pluses and minuses to both sides. And unless you're fucking hardcore and either extremely hardcore where you're like, I'm right and this is why, or you're just like the Trump hasn't done anything right type of person, then like you should be able to see both sides of every argument. Like I see why you think that. Even if you disagree, yeah. you can see why or like where right. they're coming from or where they get their data from that might prove their point. It's insane, dude. Fuck politics. <laughs> Fuck it. Too much of a headache. I'll just watch like the debates and whatever. Can't wait for the debates with Trump, dude. When does that start? I don't know. Probably in like late fall, I would think. Something like that. Because I, I think um, the Democrat gets nominated officially in like July. That's when their convention is. So then after that, it's for sure Trump versus whoever. And then they'll have some debates leading up to November. So probably like three to five or so. Why can't you wait? Because it's funny, dude. He's hilarious. He said it last time, but he's just fucking good on his feet, dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you can just slam anyone. And some of the shit he says is fucking not true or wrong or whatever, but he just fucking doesn't give a fuck. And he just says it anyway. And just on to the next thing. because, And that's why he's so good at the live stuff or the rallies, debates, whatever. Because you have to be able to do that. It just bounces off of him and he's on to the next thing. He never gets flustered with anything like that. What what um has he said that isn't true? Anything that like bit, bit him in the ass? I don't know. Because I don't know enough about it. But I'm sure just like the other side, you know, at his rallies and shit, he's probably stating facts that someone on the other side would say, oh, that's not true. This is the real stat, but they're getting their stats from two different studies. So maybe they're both right or they're both wrong. It's Uh, hard to say. So then that's why it's, you know, all those fact checkers online that's like, oh, this was a lie. This was a lie. It's like, was it actually a lie? Are you getting data from two different pieces and which is the better study? That's why you have to be so fucking into it and involved to see like who's lying and who's not, or if they're half lies or what, like no one, you or me or anyone fucking listening to this, like, we don't fucking know. Yeah. They could fucking say whatever, and you'd just be like, okay. I <laughs> exactly. guess that's true. That's how I am. There's no way for us to fact check it, really. Yeah. And even if you did, it's like, you can find, for any topic on the internet, you can find shit that says one thing, and then shit that says the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. And you're like, which one's right? I don't know. Yeah. This got to go with your opinion, then. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. I just go with my opinion. So, everyone out there should definitely vote, though. Get your sticker. Why should not Why should they vote? Give them one good reason, just one. Why do you think someone should vote? It takes time. Not everyone can just go. They don't know if there's a line and shit. You know what I mean? That's what I was thinking. Like, last year, I was like, like I don't know enough, but my opinions go with this person, and, you know, my disbelief, or, like, yeah. the opposite of my opinion goes with that person. So, I'll just go vote. And I was like, fuck, it's going to take an hour. It's going to take fucking 20 minutes. Yeah. Went down to Carson. There was mm-hmm. a line, but it was fucking zooming. Yeah. There's only a couple questions. But then everything but the president, I didn't know. Right. So I'm just like. Oh. Yeah, most of the like, local shit, no one fucking knows. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And then there's like, <clears throat> it's weird because of the. Wait, elect- wait, you got to give me one reason. I am. Oh. I'm saying it's weird because of the Electoral College, like, if you live in California and you wanted to vote Republican, basically your vote doesn't fucking count because it's so overwhelmingly blue that, like, every Republican in the state could fucking vote and it's still going to go blue. And then oh, really? they're still going to get all 55, I think, 55 electoral votes or whatever. Whereas here, we've been blue for the last couple, but it still could go either way. So it's probably more important to vote. 
in a state like Nevada or any battleground state than the ones that have like been solidly blue or solidly red. Like the last 25 years yeah. or whatever. I see. So what's solidly blue that, you know, California? California and New York are like the two biggest ones for sure. Probably because LA and New mm-hmm. York City, huh? Yep. And then what about solidly, solidly red? Um, Texas has been red. They say it's going more blue now, but it's been red for a long time. Mm-hmm. That one will probably stay red at least this time. Uh, Florida has been red for a while. And then like tons of like southern and like midwestern states. Some of them are kind of battleground where they could go either way, but a lot what of about them like are Oklahoma like red. And shit like yeah, that. that's like red. Yeah. I think Oklahoma was actually the only state that didn't if I remember right, they were the only state that didn't have one county go blue in the last presidential election. Oh they were red across the entire state, yeah. That just shows like those people are about their land pretty much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just fucking, we're out here. Just leave me the fuck alone. Don't right. fuck off my life. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is definitely, it. those are some real rancher people. That are just, yeah. There's probably some good hometowns in, Nevada, in Oklahoma. Yeah. You know? Best friends and shit. People, you know <laughs> what I mean, dude? Fucking dude, barn parties fucking and shit. Different life than the city, that's for sure. Yeah. 